Welcome inside the film room. I'm Dustin Fox, alongside Bernie Kosar. Bernie's the bye week, and the Browns are fresh off a huge victory over the Atlanta Falcons. We're going to talk some defense here. In fact, we're just going to go back to that game in the fourth quarter and watch the goal line stand because it was an absolute beauty to see Greg Williams and these guys fly around. Look what we have here. We have the fourth quarter. Time. We have 13.46 to go. The Browns were up 18, but it's still with the whole with the whole basic quarter to go. The uh, Falcons have first and goal at the, uh, the six-yard line. First and goal at the six. I, I'm thinking run, right? No, the Falcons are going to go a little play-action pass. Our, our defense here, you can see, look at the discipline. Look yeah. at them. They don't go with the play fake, which is a poor play fake. Look at how the offensive line for the Falcons stands up at the snap. That is not a run action. Mm -hmm. Our defense does an excellent job. Nobody, look at the back seven. Nobody bites on the fake. So Collins makes the cut here, and you see Joe Schobert making with his speed discipline coming over wrapping up now look we have second and five now this tends to be a throwing down but because the falcons threw on first down this tends to be a running play which the falcons don't let us down they do this is a well blocked play this should be a touchdown marty schottenheimer used to talk a ton about this the old coach for the browns about you have to make it worth their while to get into that end zone. You can never give them an easy touchdown. And, and Peppers, I love the aggressiveness he shows here. He saves the touchdown. He saves the touchdown. You got Joe Schobert filling the hole, getting the back off balance. Yeah, this is a big time hit here. A lot of players, as you see Peppers come in here at the end of this run, would just lay off. They'd be like, exactly. hey, he's going to score. We're, you're going to be, a, you're going to accept it. And Pepper says, no way. Not only does Pepper say no way, the whole defense yeah. says no way, and that's the mindset. Yeah. That's the mindset that you want to see on a winning football team. Absolutely. Love that. Third and inches. Third and inches. Everybody knows this should be a running play. Mm -hmm. Don't exactly like the lack of physicalness at the back for Atlanta. Is He's coming in there. T he's tippy-toeing in the hole. Look at Joe Schober. He knows they're running. He's selling out forward the pride it takes to stop somebody this close group tackling well done team defense joe schobert has something to do with nearly every play on this on this uh series when you can get a, a nfl team on fourth and a couple inches to be so intimidated they know they can't run the ball that they have to trick you into the end zone you know you're a heck of a defense right here look at joe's communication he's saying combo 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 they're and playing what he means in. by that is they, if this guy goes out, take the guy the back to the, to the, to the flat, and then all of a sudden Schobert will, will play over top and take the tight end. Joe Schobert has just gotten so much better. Look at how sound and fundamental he is. Look at Joe using his hands. As long as you don't overextend your arms, you can get away with Close. that. You can get a little bit. Mm. Well done. Goal line stand. Shows a lot of heart. Yeah, you'd love to see that from the defense. And I, I think this team has taken on a little bit of that Greg Williams identity, not just the defense but the entire team. They seem to be playing a little bit more loose, having a little bit more fun. Absolutely concur with you. The team is definitely taking on Greg's personality and it's bringing up W's. And that's stuff you can build on as the Browns head to the bye week and they come back to face the Cincinnati Bengals in a week. He's Bernie Kosar, I'm Dustin Fox. We'll see you next time.